So my name is Thomas Clausen. I'm uh, uh, mainly known as a jazz piano player from Denmark, and um, but also I'm, a, I'm also a composer of um, mainly jazz, but also classical music. I write, I compose for classical musicians on and off. Um, but I've written music for big bands, chamber music, choir, some symphony pieces and stuff. So that's my. And lately, in the last. Ten years, I've been very interested in writing um, leader or arias, you know, for piano and vocal, different combinations, and uh, so so that's kind of a new thing for me to to get more into writing for for singing, which is I think a very interesting and natural thing, and um, and that thing about singing is something that I always use when I compose. You know, I I use my fingers to find some notes, but I, I sing all the time. So, so when, I, when I got this commission to write this piece for, for Mikala, um, so a year ago or something like that, I was very happy to, to get the commission because you don't get that many commissions these days. And, uh, and I, I always loved her playing, so, so, uh, so I started, when I started writing the piece, I just started singing those lines that I wanted her to play, and I find the, the parts for the for the strings, I find with my, my fingers on the piano, of course. So, so it's a, a natural um, you know, division of roles, so, and that's um, it's been a, a wonderful experience to try to write this kind of piece because I, I never wrote a, a concerto or anything like that ever. You know, I've written for classical musicians, but um, for chamber pieces and yeah, different pieces, some symphony stuff but uh, never a concerto, so that was totally new and, and demanding, of course. But I, I have been um, using some of the old models. You know, I, I'm, I'm very fond of the whole classical tradition from Bach and you know, Scarlatti up to the present time. So, so you can hear a lot of Bach, for instance, in the slow movement. It's, the inspiration is very obvious, I think, and, and, and this way you can, find, you can find a lot of Mozart in the last movement, I would say. He's one of my favorite composers. And so so um, being a jazz musician doesn't prevent me from, doesn't stop me from using inspiration from all these old masters, you know. I, I think they are, they are still, you can still use those, that vocabulary today, you know, and, and do something fresh with it somehow. At least I, felt, at least I had a lot of fun writing this piece, so and that's, maybe that's the main thing for me um, when you listen to this piece, that, that you are actually having some kind of fun, you know, that you're not getting bored, you know. So, so I tried not to, to make anything too long, you know what I mean? I, I, I keep going, you know, I have like, because Coming from that, the, the jazz world, you know, jazz originally was entertainment, you know, before 1945, when jazz musicians started wanting to be artists, you know. And that distinction between entertainment and art is an um, artificial one, I think, because if, it, if the music is, is good art, it should also be entertaining. You know, so there should be no contradiction, contradiction between those two things. So that's why I'm, I'm not afraid of using things from, from the past. And, and, and I just do it because I love to, to do, do it this way. And, and if, if I like it, somebody else might also like it. And I try to make the, the forms that I use kind of strict, you know, so, so nothing is becoming boring. That's my main, you know, my main intent, you know, this music must, must not be boring. No, music must never be boring. That's very important for me, you know, at least in, the, in this kind of piece. And the connection to Axel Borup Jürgensen is in which way? Yeah, I, I, um, the thing is that I got the commission from his daughter, Elisabeth Selin, who is uh, who I have known her for really many years because uh, she used to be uh, the girlfriend of Pally Mikkelborg, the trumpet player that I grew, in his, yeah, I grew up in his band uh, in, in early on. So, so I knew her from uh, the beginning of the eighties, and, uh, and and she she's a you know a known recorder player in in Denmark. She's the only 
Michaela Peters, only student, you know. They played a lot of duets together, Michaela and, and Elizabeth. So I know her very well. And, and then I, I would meet uh, Axel Bohr on the concerts uh, when, when she was, when we were playing with Michael Bohr and, and also when, yeah, I, I, would, I would see them together, you know, father and daughter. So, so, that's, uh, so it's a, a family kind of, or yeah, kind of a family situation, uh, uh, not family. Uh, he's, he's like a good friend, you know, or he was a good friend. I didn't see him very much, but, um, but I really respect his music a lot, uh, and I've been very uh, happy to, to listen to some of his pieces, you know. He wrote some fantastic stuff for symphony orchestra. You know, the, the Marine, uh, the piece from 60-something. An enormous piece, and, and so he, he's, he's a heavy, heavy, heavy composer. <laughs> 